Hi there. I just wanted to talk a little bit about playing classical guitar with a thumb pick, um, which is not the normal thing to do. But I kind of broke off the, my thumbnail off the tip, you know, tip of my thumbnail there, and uh, I thought I'd try playing with picks, which is um, you know taking quite a bit of experimentation. And actually, I think there are a lot of advantages in playing with the pick. Um, and you get much more defined bass lines and you can maintain a very natural hand position because the pick, the tip of the pick is a sort of right angles to your thumb so you don't have to sort of arch your wrist or put your thumb like that to, to get the contact with the string with the, the nail. Um, anyway, um, you can hear what this is, my thumb is like without a nail. It's like rather a woolly uh, sort of attack on it, but if I use a pick, we get uh, much more. Much more positive sound, but the problem with this is that, especially when you're recording, um, you get this buzz, this rattle with the pick, like this. When it initially makes contact. It's very annoying. So, um, you know, it's, it's very off-putting for, for a classical guitarist. Um, anyway, I found a little solution to this, and uh, it's worth, um, I think, talking about. What I've what I found is I get these little, these are little pads, which are actually normally used for spectacles, you know, to make your nose more comfortable. And they, you, you, see, you can just stick one of these little pads on the back of the pick, and in effect, it works like the flesh of your finger. It damps the string, the already vibrating string, just fractionally before the pick makes contact with it. And if you place the the, uh, the pad just about a millimeter short of the end of the pick, um, that that's that little bit is like the, the nail, and the pad is the flesh. I'll just show you that. You see. You see this pad, and it's, it takes the buzz out of it. It's actually really good. But you do have to work at this, getting an even volume between your thumb and your fingers, which, which does come. But I'm actually... the attack of this. Um, you, you, know, you have to play around with lots of different picks and uh, this, this, is, this, is, this one is a, a little Dunlop medium pick which I think is the type that Chad Atkin used when he, when he played and he used to of course damp, damp the strings with the, with the palm of his hand and he got this sort of thud but I think that's he probably started doing that because of the, he didn't like the rattle of the pick but I think this is really quite an effective solution. And I've been playing three finger scales uh, using PIM. So I think it's good. These the 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 A finger on both hands is is the least dexterous finger, and uh, so these 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 three fingers are, I think are very important. So anyway, that's a. Uh, just something you might like to try if you if you have ever tried playing nylon strung guitar or classical guitar with a pick um, and you don't like the clatter that it makes you try using one of these little spectacle pads it works quite well anyway here we go mm -hmm. 